Gronk has 65 red zone touchdowns in 143 games. It's almost every other game. Gronk's first pass uh, catch actually was a uh, first touchdown, excuse me, was in the red zone. And so for me, I think, yes, the information, the plays, the Cowboys game, I love that example because that's what Gronkowski brings. Who is going to fill that gap? Is it going to be one of the rookie tight ends that was just drafted this year? Maybe Kate Otten out of Washington. Sure. Who is going to do it? That's the biggest question I have for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Well, maybe Adam can help provide some clarity for us here on the Chris Godwin situation. Obviously, he's been a key contributor to this Tampa offense. But again, recovering from that torn ACL, we heard Dan and Sam both allude to this. So what is the latest on his rehab process? Well, Shay, it's been exactly 200 days today since Chris Godwin tore his ACL. And my understanding is that they are hopeful, they don't know yet, but they're hopeful that he'll be ready for opening day. And so that's encouraging. They'll chart him, monitor him, track him during the summer, see how he's coming along. Obviously not going to rush him back. Probably would be surprised if we saw him in any preseason games. And I think the goal will be to see if he's ready for opening day, which I don't think is out of the question right now. And that would be a big boost to an offense that we know for now is going to be with that Rob Gronkowski, who earlier this offseason announced his retirement. Yeah, of course. And then if Chris Godwin's ready to go week one, as you say, could be a possibility, Adam, that would help for familiarity with Tom Brady. Are we? Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.